Hello guys, Peanut Chosen One here. Today I'm just gonna go over a quick summary for some new people to Team Fortress 2 about items and crafting. Now in items, so you have to click this button called items, obviously, then you'll come up with the nine classes. Now if you go on let's say scout, he's got primary weapon, secondary weapon, and a melee weapon. Now you can find weapons in games, but not every game. It's um, it's pretty rare, not like extremely rare, but it's like um, a twenty five percent chance or ten percent chance that will like drop. So you can let's say a drop, you get a drop which gives you a short stop. You can click this, and then boom. You have this in your inventory and you can equip it and use it in battle but the thing is you ha the scatter gun has um it's basically just a normal shotgun but the short stop as you can see here it holds four short short clips reloads this entire clip at once alt fire reach and shove someone so kind of has this unique abilities and unique disabilities on the other guns so do know that not always if you find a gun that doesn't always mean that it's better it can mean that it's better sometimes but maybe it has a disability that makes it not now here you can choose um, your kind of cosmetics and You've got three slots for your cosmetics, and do note that you can't have, you can't equip two hats. Look, I'm gonna wear this pumpkin head, and look, I can't use the another hat because that will make it look very weird. So you can't have two hats. You can't have two chest pieces like the Bombonomicon, as you can see right there. You can't have two because when I go here and I want to equip mercenary badge, I can't because it's also a chest piece. So you can't have double of something, like you can't have two hats, two chest pieces, two stuff. Now, action. This is called the action tab. Look, action. Now you can put here a fancy spell book, which you can get in Halloween, which allows you to equip, um, equip spells that you can get in Halloween only and some special community servers. You can equip the Jungle Inferno collection, con contractor, sorry, uh, which is just like right there, which you can get with, if you press F2 on your keyboard, you get the contractor. Now, you will have to buy this. It's a pass, a mercenary pass, which you can do mission, and then you would get this the inferno contractor okay so this basically goes for every single class look like soldier has his primary the rocket launcher secondary melee like pyro demo man heavy but then we get to engineer and stuff gets a bit weird because he has his primary his secondary and his melee weapon but then there's a construction pda now, in-game, I'll go further in depth in the engineer tutorial that you can equip this and basically it'll open up a menu They can choose a sentry, a dispenser, a teleporter entrance and a teleporter exit. Now, once you equip, <laughs> once you equip the teleporter entrance down and the teleporter exit, you can only go through the teleporter entrance and end exit the teleporter. It's a bit confusing because I'm giving it in bite-size information but I'll go further in depth in the engineer tutorial so you can build stuff with it and yeah now the medic he has his primary which you'll probably have the syringe gun but then he has this medi gun now you may know, not know what the medical gun is I'll go obviously further in depth in the medical specialist medical <laughs> medic class in the future now you can just equip this and it fires a beam at people well teammates that heals them um, yeah and it heals them 
and then you can find like other kind of medical guns like the crit screen itself uh, given an uber charge which the uber charge is basically if you heal enough people you can make you can get uber charge 100 percent and then kind of charge up someone which makes them invincible for uh, 10 seconds i think now um with the crits creek instead of doing a kind of um invincibility it gives you crits so a crit basically is when you shoot someone, let's say I shoot someone with a shotgun, it does 10 damage. This is not true, but I'm just giving an example. Now, there's a thing called random crits. Now, if I shoot someone again, and it's a random crit, that will do 20 damage, because a crit does more damage than the regular bullet. Now, the crit squeak gives that for, I think it is 10 seconds, I think which gives the enemy and you um, crits so it's pretty useful for some situations but I prefer the normal medigun now he also has this melee weapon which is a melee weapon some variety like give you some stuff and all that it's got the same cosmetics sniper the same primary secondary melee and spy now, Spy has the most stuff, well, no, him and Engineer have the most stuff because he has a primary, a melee, and no secondary. So this, is you'll have the Invis Watch. Now, if you hold right click, you'll go invisible, but it has a cooldown. So you can pick up ammo to replenish that cooldown, or you can just go invisible and it will recharge. Now there's different variety, I'll always go in depth. Now the zapper, basically, so as we talked about the engineer, he can put in sentries, um, dispensers, and teleporters and all that. But with the zapper, you can go invisible and disguise, because the it doesn't show here, but he also has a disguise kit. He can disguise into an enemy team's player. So once you do that and you find the engineer's zapper, I mean, <laughs> Sentry build building. You can just um, zap it with this. You equip, you equip this, and then just put it on the thing, and it will slowly drain the health of the sentry, and it will also deactivate the sentry. So that's um, spy, and also you can backstab people for one hit kill. I'll go further in depth for every single class. So don't worry if you get confused about like medic, engineer, spy, and all those. Okay, now let's do backpack. So if you click backpack, it will show up all your weapons here. All your weapons, cosmetics, cases, and all those. So let's say you want to find your, let's say you found a gun, like the soda popper. So you go S-O soda. And then there you go, solar popper. So you got like pages here. And you can click here, sort backpack, and you can do whatever you want, like sort by day, like the first thing that you got, well, the latest thing that you got to the first thing you got. Sort by type, like um, like metal and all those. Like, and all those, like heavy weapons and all those. Okay. The borders is like show quality, like if you want to see like, oh, this one's civilian class, this one's normal, and this one's like all those. You can click the list to show quality borders, no item borders, and show market marketable borders. So we only like marketable stuff. Okay. So that's basically all the mechanics of the backpack. You can also click here for stats, your total play, play time, you can click like average damage, most points, all those. Like those. Alright. Hmm, okay. So now crafting. Now if you click here, you'll get these crafting items, common items, rare items, special. 
Now you want to start off with crafting items, so smart class weapon. Be quick here, weapon. So you put one weapon in of the same class they have to be. If the so let's say you have both two of the same uh, of the same class it will work, but if there's um, one of the same class it won't work. So I don't have anything to give example but you would go here and you put two class weapons in and it will create one scrap metal. Now once you do that three times, you can put in three scrap metal here and you'll get reclaimed. And once you get reclaimed, you can put three reclaimed metal to get refined metal. And then you can do like class token, slot token, da -da 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 -da, all those, which basically just give you, um, which give you just um, stuff, more stuff to craft with than like random crafting the rest. So if you got on common items, if you want to fabricate one one um, class weapon of let's say you want scrap, you get a scrap metal, and then the scout scout token and the slot token like a melee or blah, blah 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 blah. And then if you want let's say you really want this one the um, the call the I don't know how to pronounce it the chocolate bar, you would put in sandwich and scrap metal which I don't have. And then oopsie. And then that's how it works. So, and then you go here. Let's say you want this one. You just put in one pink train on Crits Creek, and you get a candy cane and all this. Okay. So then, rare items. These are, um, as you can see, there's much less than the common items because there's more common items than rare, obviously. So you go on rare, and you can actually craft a headgear. Which um, a headgear is basically a hat, <laughs> obviously. Um, on a rebuild headwear, you would get two pieces of headwear, and it will create one piece of headwear. Let's say you have two unwanted headgear, you want like, and then you get a headwear, so on and so forth. Like this, you want a class headgear. Like let's say you want a scout, a scout. Um, Headgear, you just put in the refined metal and then one class token, and you get one class specific piece of hardware. So, let's say you put in a scout token and your four piece of me refined metal, you get one class token. Bonk helmet, you get two bonk atomic punches, and then a batter's helmet. Then you can craft a bonk helmet. A set headgear, which um, gives you a a one specific piece of set headwear. Strange count um, transfer tool. You need uh, two strange parts. This is a bit. You don't really need to know this if you're gonna get into like like really far into like Team Fortress trading, um, competitive and all that. And you wanna look cool. You don't really need to know strange count transfer tool, but if you want it, do it. Well, basically, what it does is let's see strange items. I won't go too far in depth because it's pretty confusing. Even I don't really know, but I haven't played Team Fortress Two only for two years now, so I don't know a crap ton of stuff. So you get two strange weapons, and then we'll make this. So what you, basically what you do is let's say you have one strange weapon, and the strange weapon basically counts. How much of the weapon you've done? I, I actually have an example here. If I go here, where is it? Um, should be some. There it is. Look, if I inspect the item, this is the unremarkable bonk atomic punch. Look. Okay. So, uh, if you see here, food items eaten 16. Drink to become the, that you don't really need to know. So it counts how much of that particular thing you've done with it, like this, I've eaten it 16 times. So then if you get another strange weapon, let's say it's the same thing but it has zero, and you get the strange count transfer, you could put on that and the other one, and this will drain out of this, and will go into the other one. So this will become food items eaten zero, and the other one will become 16. Now, special. 
Um, this I um, this is mainly for a Halloween stuff. Like if you get every single mask of the Halloween set, you can get Saxton Hale mask. This if you get ref two refined metal, haunted metal, scrap, and Scotland scholar, you can create the headless <laughs> headless horseman's uh, headless horseman's. No, ho one horse's headless horseman's head taker. That's the one. And then a haunted headgear, you just get four refined metal, one a haunted metal scrap, and then you get one haunted headgear. Power up canteen. I don't know what this does actually. Let's see. It holds a maximum of three charges. It currently holds zero charges. Each charge lasts five, five seconds. And it applies a bonus effect for a limited amount of time when used. Must first be filled at upgrade station and can only be filled with one bonus type at a time. Okay, so I think this is for Man vs. Machine, I believe. Custom Blueprint, this is uh, for advanced users only, so it's pretty advanced. I don't really know how to use it at all. <laughs> I've just tried randomly pulling stuff in, it doesn't work, so don't try it unless you know from a wiki how to make some recipes or something okay so that basically explains everything about um, crafting and like backpacks and all that and I do hope it helped you a bit um, please comment um, if you have any difficulties I'll try to reply as many as I can and be sure to subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next tutorial for now. Goodbye!